Hi everyone. In this video, we will deploy Retrain ResNet 50 model on Amazon SageMaker using NVIDIA Triton Inference Server. In the previous video, we have created deployable version of the ResNet 50 model. We have created three versions. One version was created in ONNX format, another version was created in a Deutsch script format, and there was one more version which was created in TensorRT optimized format. So in this video, we will focus on deploying Deutsch script deployable version. So the original code for this deployment can be found in AWS repository. We should go to Amazon SageMaker examples, then proceed to SageMaker Triton, go to ResNet 50 folder, and here you should open Triton ResNet 50 Jupyter Notebook. And this notebook introduces all the necessary step which has to be taken to deploy ResNet 50 model using Torch script. For our deployment today, we will use another modified script, which has a, a little bit more straightforward flow and have some different ways of calling the endpoint from the one which is introduced in the original Amazon. Uh, and has a different ways of calling endpoint in comparison to the original uh, AWS code. So you can find this code here at Yenoten and Video Triton on SageMaker. So in order to deploy this code on AWS SageMaker, you will need to go to SageMaker Studio and create your own domain. In my case, I have already created all the necessary infrastructure and I can open Studio. When I got to my Studio, I go to Jupyter Lab and I have my Jupyter Notebook instance already running. So we will not waste any time for warming up and studying the instances for the Jupyter Notebook. And finally, we go to the code. Now, let us do a quick walkthrough the code, how to deploy a PyTorch script model on AWS SageMaker using Triton Server. So for this deployment, we will be using Endpoint. Endpoint is AWS specialized instance, which can accept HTTP requests. So now let's go and see the code. First, we will input necessary libraries and create necessary variables to communicate with SageMaker environments. Next, we will define the map between the region we are operating and the ID of the container for NVIDIA Triton Inference Server in the corresponding region. These container images are located in uh, Elastic Container Registry on AWS. And depending on the region these containers are invoked, they will have different IDs. So in my case, the region is USSIST1. And uh, I will create the URI for the container image. And this is our URI. Now let's go ahead and load the image, one of the ImageNet images. In this case, I will use Daisy B image. For this, I need NumPy library and PIA library to operate with the image. 
when we open the image. And here we will also create some helper function in order to preprocess the image and format it in the proper way so we can send uh, this image into the endpoint as HTTP request. Here we need to consider how to prepare the model package for the Triton server. So once Triton server is up, uh, it will deploy the model. So the model, in order to be properly deployed in the Triton server, should be packaged in, this, in a certain format. So we will need a directory, which has the same name as a model, ResNet. And this directory should have a following structure. There should be folder one, which represents the model version. And inside that folder one, we will put model.pt, the deployable version of ResNet 50 model. But in the root of a ResNet folder, we'll have to place a special configuration file for Triton server to properly communicate with the model. So let's go ahead and create Triton server PT ResNet slash one folder structure. And in the root of ResNet folder, there should be the configuration file. So this is the script for configuration file. Let's run this and save it inside the ResNet folder. And for the model file, let's upload the model, which we have created in the previous video using NVIDIA PyTorch container. So this file is about 100 megabytes. So it will take some time to upload. I will jump to the moment, then upload is completed. So our model is successfully uploaded. We also have necessary configuration file. So one more step we have to do, we have to put this entire directory into the tar file with the model. So let's go ahead and do that. The file will be created in a separate directory resnet and here we go this is our file now what we have to do we have to register the model in a sage make model repository so first of all we will copy the star file into the s3 bucket associated with the sage maker environment so this is my s3 bucket So we'll go ahead and upload the file here. And now you can see that I have Triton serve PT folder. And here I have a ResNet tar file. Next, we need to create the model artifact. This is necessary for, necessary for AWS to be able to deploy the model on the endpoint instance. This will include calling the Triton inference server container, the model URI, which we have just created in S3, and the default name for the model will be ResNet. Then we create a model, and SageMaker should create deployable artifact for us in the model section of inference category. So let's have a look. 
we are in the inference category. Here we have models. And now our new model is created. So this is here, and this is reference for the tar file with the model we have placed in the S3 bucket. Next, in order to deploy endpoint itself, we'll have to create endpoint configuration. And here we'll have to define the type of instance and the model name. Other components and more detailed discussion of this configuration, I will provide in the extended video. So let's go ahead and create endpoint configuration. And we can see in endpoint configuration that we do have a new configuration right now. And this configuration is connected to our model name. This is exactly our model name. And next, we will go ahead and create endpoint. So here, right now, we don't have any endpoints. Next, we deploy endpoint. First, we create endpoint name. And then we create endpoint by calling create endpoint method of the some client variable. Creation of the endpoint will take some time. So I will jump into the moment that endpoint is created. In the meantime, it will be possible to monitor endpoint creation process. Finally, our endpoint has been created. So now we can go ahead and invoke it. For this purpose, we will use uh, invoke endpoint method of uh, runtime as some client variable. Uh, we will need endpoint name, content type, and the body of which HTTP request which should be sent to the endpoint. So in this case, uh, the body will be sent in JSON format, and we will convert the payload. So the payload is the JSON object, uh, which will contain the name of the input, the shape of the input, data type of the input, and data tag will have uh, the image content. And in this case, we will provide image path to our Daisy B .jpg image file. So let's go ahead and run this. And next, we will invoke the endpoint and get the response. So now let's have a look at the response. So response also comes in the form of JSON. So let's have a look how it is organized. We can see that our response dictionary is indeed a dictionary, which has multiple keys like model name, model version, outputs, and outputs contain list. So this list contains uh, all the outputs corresponding to the inputs. So in this case, we had one input. So this list will have only one component. And that's why we will have to refer square bracket zero uh, to identify the index of the element in this list. And then we will need data key, which will actually contain the output of ResNet50 model. So we will take the output scheme, zero to get the first element in the list, and read the data. This will be our ResNet predictions. Also, we will load labels for the image net so we can give the name to the prediction class which resnet 50 outputs and in this case they see that resnet recognizes not the flower but the bee in the image next we'll discuss the second way to talk to the endpoint using the triton client for this purpose we need to install media libraries to communicate with triton server Since I have it already installed, 
I see that all requirements are satisfied. So next, we create a helper functions to generate request body of the HTTP request which should be sent to the endpoint and the header length. This will be needed to process the response. I will discuss this function in details in the detailed workflow video, so please check for the updates. Uh, but one thing I want to uh, note immediately, in contrast to the previous method, then we were invoking endpoint directly using AWS methods. Here, we will convert data into binary format and send the data to inference server in the binary format. So let's go ahead and create these functions. So now let's go ahead and invoke the endpoint using the request body and header length prepared by the Triton client helper functions. Next, we will process the endpoint response and extract the ResNet predictions. So we also have the same predictions, but now we have to convert them into NumPy. Finally, we will load the labels again and check what is prediction provided by the ResNet 50 model. So in this case, prediction is also the same. It is B. So this is it, how to deploy and invoke the endpoint. Before we finish, please clean up the model, the endpoint configuration and delete the endpoint, especially deleting endpoint is super important because otherwise you will have to pay for the endpoint on the Aldi basis and the instance type is not so cheap. So that's it. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for the following video.